course, everybody knows why we're here. We're here to celebrate the chase. He's going to sign his letter of intent to play college football at UPAC. Um, I'm going to say a few things about Chase, talk about some of his accomplishments. Chase is a multi-sport athlete. Uh, he played basketball for Betsy Lane. He had over 1,000 points, over 800 rebounds. He was team captain and member of two district championship teams. Uh, Chase is also a Berkeley Award winner. And that's given to an outstanding uh, Floyd County male athlete. Uh, as far as academics go, Chase has a cumulative GPA of 3.9. He's got college ready status. He's taken four dual credit classes and two AP classes with A's in all of them. He's a member of the Beta Club, National Honor Society, and STLP. Uh, and the reason we're here today, football, Chase had over 2,500 passing yards in uh, his senior season, over 28 passing touchdowns, 728 rushing yards, and 10 rushing touchdowns. That's some impressive numbers. Um, he also achieved all district. He was on the all district team and on the all mountain team. Um, Chase led Betsy Lane football to the second best record in school history at eight and two. Um, and I'd just like to say Chase has been an outstanding young man here, outstanding student athlete, and he's the epitome of what we want for our student athletes at Betsy Lane. And we're really happy and proud to see him get to continue his, his playing career at UPIC. Um, at this time, I guess we can give him a round of applause. He goes ahead. And once he gets finished signing here, we'll have uh, some opportunities to come up and take pics with the family, friends, team, coaches, and uh, Mr. and Miss Mims has been nice enough to bring some cake. So you guys, I guess we'll stick around and eat afterwards. Excited, you know, signing. Really a dream, you know. It's a dream that I've been waiting on for at least four years since my freshman year. Uh, UPIC's a good place, great place. My whole family's went there, so that's something I get to carry on through the whole family tradition. Play there for them. Hopefully, be a quarterback, and just really fun day. Just really smart. Uh, you can put any play, any system in, and he can do it. Uh, you know, I told him to start the year, we'll do the things that make you great. But really, there was nothing that made him not great. You know, he could do anything we asked. And, and he's just a great kid and a great player. Great football player, but even more importantly, great young man. Everybody we talked to has talked about his character, and we think he'd be a great fit for our program down there. Head coach, Coach Phipps, is uh, real excited to get him and, and keep him in the area, and we we're, we're, can't wait to see what he does on the field. I'm ready to take on that challenge. A new, new team, new plays, new players. Just go out there and play. I've played this sport for 12, count, 12 years, countless years. So to be able to play it again for four more years at the high, one of the highest levels, that just that's everything. He's looked at many colleges and he's talked to many coaches and uh, he kept wanting us to pick for him or at least give some input and, and we never did. Well, that's, that's his decision and I'm thrilled with this is the decision he's made because Tony and I both are alums of uh, UPIC and our daughter Dominique and our son Nate's going to be up there hopefully in the fall and we're just super excited that he's there. We, really impressed with the coaching staff. Coach Phipps, Coach Harris is here today. So we expect good things for him and he'll get a good education too. And that means a lot to us. And it's close to home. Mom and Dad, they've pushed me through everything. They've made me who I am today and I, I do owe everything to them. Them and God, they've molded me to the man I am today. And I thank them for everything. Mom's always been there, Dad's always been there. When Mom can't film, Dad films. When Dad's not able to, Nate will film. So I have, I have the whole family ready to support behind me, and I, and I thank them every day for it. I'll have Nate at the game screaming, hollering. It's, it's a great feeling to hear him holler because you know you've got someone in there that supports you no matter what. 